Hi, Groove Kid Nation. We are here looking at the Schoen Hut uh, 30 key fancy baby grand piano. Uh, just to give you a little bit of backstory before we jump into the review, Groove Kid Nation is all about introducing children under the age of five and six to the world of real musical instruments. So, uh, we have a few criteria for a musical instrument for a child, and one of them is uh, we like the idea that there's a direct correlation between a child's action and the pitch, meaning they hit a key or they do something on the guitar or whatever, it plays that one note, not what you see in electronic um, toys, uh, musical toys, where you hit a note and you hear a full band or something like that. So we like that. And we also like uh, that there's, you know, the possibility of actually playing a real melody. So a lot of times you see these electronic guitars and that kind of thing, and you play, push this button, it does something, you push this button, but you still, you can never play a melody on it. Um, so, this piano actually satisfies all our criteria, um, and we quite like it. Uh, it comes in 30 key versions, which is this one here, and there's a 25 key version, which is a little bit smaller. And then I believe there's a 37 key version, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, we don't recommend the, the bigger one because the notes don't actually sound that great outside of this range. It sounds pretty good here, but when you get the extra notes are not really that needed. Um, so I'd save your money there and get either the 30 key or the 25 key version. Uh, I've seen some reviews on Amazon where people are kind of disappointed with the sound of it because they thought, oh, this thing's going to sound like a, a real piano. It does not have strings. It makes a sound by uh, the keys actually hit a little hammer. There's a little hammer that hits a metal bar. So each key is a metal bar. So it sounds more like bells than a traditional piano. So what does it sound like? It sounds like this. So, it's uh, definitely not a piano, uh, in the traditional sense of like an acoustic piano with strings. So it has a bell-like tone, and it's quite capable of playing a lot of traditional piano repertoire. Uh, it lends itself more towards single note melodies as opposed to chords. Um, the chords don't speak very well. It gets a little bit clunky. Um, but when you play single notes, it actually sounds quite nice. So, you can hear it's actually a, a, a lovely sounding instrument. Um, so what do you get when you when you when you buy one of these? It comes with a little bench, looks like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, I believe the 25 key version does not come with a bench, um, but it's still really low to the ground, so you know a toddler can walk up there and just do their thing. Um, it comes with uh, music, and this is particular instrument uh, was handed down to us by uh, three cousins. So that's a little bit of a testament to how well they are made because uh, by the time it got to my son, he was the fourth kid. So he, this, this piano that you see now has been through four children. Um, and it's still standing, so that's, uh, that lets you know that they're built quite well. They're built to last. Um, the music book did not make it to us, <laughs> so we didn't see that. But I've looked it up online, and it is basically a color-coded system in which there's a color-coded overlay that goes behind the keyboard here and then on the music book that sits up here the music is color-coded so that you see you know green okay you play this note and it'll be green and it can teach you songs that way so that's a, a quick way for a parent who doesn't have any musical knowledge at all to sit down with their child and you know start to work out some things on the piano and say show them that you know you can actually play songs that they're familiar with on it. So that's a very cool thing. 
Now, let's talk about uh, realistic expectations. What's going to what, what should you expect when your child you know receives one of these? Um, at first, you're going to see something like this. Now, I think that's fantastic. That's my kid at uh, the age of two. And they, they actually recommend these pianos for, for children three and older, but I think it's fine. You could get them when they're babies. Uh, they, they, they're very rugged. They're very, um, there's not really any sharp corners on here. Um, it will actually support them if they climb on top of it, but you don't really want that because they could fall off, whatever. Um, so, you know, you could probably get this piano for a child at, at the age of one uh, and, and be just fine. Um, there are no parts that could come off or they could swallow or anything like that. So, uh, at the age of two, you see he just, he was just wailing on it. I mean, he's seen daddy play, but he's just experimenting and pounding and, and, um, and having a great time. And I think that's fantastic. Uh, a little bit later, see, uh, this is a, uh, he's about the age of two and a half, um, after some encouragement, um, you'll find that children don't have a lot of finger dexterity, uh, children under the age of five. So, you, you can encourage them to play with one finger, because they can do that, so then you'll see, start to see something like this. too. So now you start to see there's a little bit of refinement in, in the motor skills and exploring individual notes and sometimes there's double notes or whatever. Um, and then I started teaching him a little bit more about scales or one scale, the C major scale, which is basically playing uh, the white keys going all the way up the keyboard. So he quite enjoyed that, so then he started seeing, I started seeing things like this. So then after that, uh, he started getting more into the drums, and he doesn't play the piano much anymore. <laughs> so, um... And, and of course, you know, you can, if you search through YouTube, I'm sure you're going to find some kid on some remote island somewhere uh, at the age of two who's playing the, the holy you-know-what out of this instrument. And, uh, you know, they're going to be prodigies and whatever. And if you have a prodigy, you will know. Um, but that's really not going to be the reality for most children. Right now, it's about play and exposure and getting them to see how piano is laid out, getting them used to the different pitches that you when you play up here it's high, you play down here it's low. These are all really fundamental basic things about music that they can still learn um, from an instrument like this. Uh, how much longevity does this, does this instrument have? Um, you're probably going to get about, if you buy it for your child say about the age of one or two, you could get a good three, four years out of it. Um, if they start to really excel at it, then I suggest moving them on to a real piano as soon as possible, either renting one or buying one used or whatever. Um, I would I would definitely try to go for a real instrument as opposed, when I say real, I mean one that's not uh, these electronic things with lots of drums and all these other weird synthesizer sounds and stuff like that. Because uh, you'll quickly get into this thing of this, uh, I call it instant gratification, where I can just play, put this one button on the keyboard, and it plays a drum beat and a bass line and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, at that point, they're not really playing music or learning music directly. They are pushing buttons. Um, so I like to keep the instruments pretty pure in the sense that, you know, if I'm going to play this thing, I've got to put in some work and 
learn how to play it. It's not going to play itself. Um, so if your child starts to really excel at this, then you should, you know, really look at piano and uh, a real piano and, and, and perhaps even give them lessons if they're really excelling at it. So that's it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out the review. Uh, be sure to subscribe. There will be a lot more reviews coming. And uh, I hope this was very helpful for you.